Forgive me if you know this already. Ugh, I feel like I'm always introducing myself. Hi, I'm Max Joseph. I'm the co-host and cameraman on the show Catfish. I'm also a real filmmaker. I made a ton of shorts for YouTube, some commercials, and even a feature called We Are Your Friends, starring Zac Efron. We once frolicked on the beach together. Not long ago, a very brave company named Vero asked me if I'd be interested in making a series of short films about whatever I wanted. I would have complete creative freedom. I could say fuck and could openly criticize corporations and public figures like Donald Trump. What an asshole. You can think of this series like Miranda July's book of short stories. I've always liked the look of it. This is the table of contents. But instead of short stories, in mine, each one of these would be a different personal essay, a visual essay, which all belong to an overarching theme, a theme reflected in the title, the title of which I haven't decided on yet. There's how to be, which is a question I'm constantly asking myself, is this all right? Then there's the apologist, which speaks to the idea that each one of these essays is an apology for not being how I should be. I'm sorry. Neurotica kind of represents the constant chatter that never ceases in my head. What are you talking about? And then there's the long freak out, which is essentially how I feel about my entire life. <coughs> but there's one more idea. A couple years ago, I auditioned for a movie written by Noah Baumbach. Hi, I'm Max Joseph, I'm 5'10", and I live in Los Angeles, California. It was for a small role called Hedge Fund Dave, and I got pretty far along in the auditions. You see Mad Men? No. You know it's really apple juice. But then ended up losing to another gray-haired guy who appeared on another reality show. You see Mad Men? No. It's really apple juice. But there was something in the lines that we were reading for the audition that struck me. Now this guy, he's, he isn't particularly charismatic. He's kind of antisocial, maybe Asperger's, but not interesting Asperger's. He's kind of boring even, but he's a charismatic thinker. Charismatic thinker. Charismatic thinker. It had a nice ring to it, albeit a bit self-aggrandizing. How do we show his thoughts? How do we show his thoughts? Cartoons. No, not cartoons. Yes, yes cartoons. Cartoons and metaphors and books and experts. There's going to be chases and adventures, revelations and confessions. The first chapter is called Dicks and Armchair Philosophy. Armchair Philosophy. So thank you, Noah Bombach, for not suing me. Thank you to my parents for the overthinking gene. And thank you to Vero for this awesome opportunity. So without further ado, I present to you, final answer, Charismatic Thinker.